good news is we now know so much about how the body ages that we can reduce biological age by changing our lifestyle. And you know we can do it in just six weeks. I want more life. Fucker. En bij de mens geldt dat zeker. Na de 40ste jaar houdt het evolutionair gezien eigenlijk op en begint de aftakeling. Gelukkig zijn er behandelopties en kan alles weer worden zoals het vroeger was. Hoe zit het nou met die hydra? Nou, laat ik eerst eens even wat hydra vangt. It's really simple. Make a few straightforward changes to your diet and you'll live longer. Seks en dood. Het zijn twee dingen die met elkaar samenhangen. Minder zo rimpels en geven de huid. Ook steeds ouder worden. De balletjes langs de rimpel glad. Ja, het was een buik moe. Iedereen wil oud worden, maar nu niet. Kunt u mij helpen alsjeblieft? Wat is er aan de hand dan? Nou, ik, ik weet niet. Ik, volgens mij ben ik heel erg oud aan het worden. Oud heel aan het worden? Ja, ik ben heel snel heel erg oud aan het worden nu. Je bent bang. Bang om oud te worden? Ik wil dus echt even onderzocht worden en ik wil kijken waar dat kan. Jij wilt een drankje hebben dat je niet veroudert? Ik wil gewoon, ik wil, ik wil mezelf opgeven als het zou kunnen als een soort guinea pig. Dat ik mezelf geef van nou, hier, uh, hier wetenschap, ik ben niet in orde en uh, dus kunnen jullie mij helpen. En jij loopt vooruit op de troepen. Als je dat echt zou willen, dan moet je naar Londen gaan. Ik ga naar Londen. Er zit David James. Ja. En die doet het. Die doet het met warm. Londen. En heeft u een adres of zo van hem? Dat ik, uh, kan ik daar naartoe? Ga je dan vandaag naar Londen toe? Ja. Ja, ik ga er gewoon heen. Ik met een professor gaan praten. David James, die doet het met wormen. Wat dan? Langzaam hebben we niemand. Are you David James? Yes. You're worried about aging? Yeah. <laughs> well, aren't we all? A lot of people will try and sell you cures. I mean, if you look in magazines and, and newspapers, there, there seem to be a lot of things that you can, you can take to protect yourself against aging, but I yeah. think um, serious biologists w would say that none of those things really work. You know, we work with animal models, we work with fruit flies, and we work with little worms that live for only a couple of weeks. Uh, and we can increase their lifespan. So you can manipulate them in the, in the laboratory to change their aging rate and make them live 10 times longer. Is there a possibility that if my DNA structure is, is changed that, that I'm healthy in, in a second? <laughs> you couldn't change your DNA, but you could actually have somebody look at it. Yeah. I mean, one person you could talk to, for example, would be uh, Andres Metzpalu. And he's, a, he's right up in Estonia. Okay, uh, thank you. Genome? Genome. This is all genes you have in your body in one cell all genes together we call it genome. Okay. 98%, 99% we are absolutely identical. But this 1-2% makes us different. Okay. And those 1-2% also make the difference that people die young or right. die old? Right, right. I would like uh, you to take some blood and, and uh, just to look at it and... No problem. Just let's go to the laboratory and uh, um, take a blood, we extract DNA, we um, analyze it, get 300,070 markers. And we have a group of bioinformatics people who can make sense out of it. Who am I of all those dots? You are at the moment, you are here. Yes, I'm that, that one, that yellow this, one? Yes. I am I'm normal, right? Because I'm in the circle. Yep. That's a really uh, nice to see. Ik heb mijn DNA laten onderzoeken, maar daar was niks mis mee. 
Ze zeiden dat ik mijn cellen moest laten onderzoeken, dus ik ga naar Duitsland. Cells, what are they? What, what do they do? You have different types of cells in your you have your muscle cells, you have your skin cells, and you have your um, immune cells. Is there a possibility you can show me how cells look like? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll just have to go to our lab. So what you see here is a picture of blood cells, the immune cells in there. Mm -hmm. what, 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 who is this person? Well, this is blood from an, a very old uh, lady, a hundred year old, who we call them centenarians. And is there something you can discover in the blood of an old person that could help the 20 year old? I think they have arrived at the age of a hundred year old, so then we would like to know what makes them so special. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. Yeah. Hey, met Rogier. hier. Ja, 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 ja. Die. Nee. Nou, alsof ik helemaal niet meer weet waarom, waarom, ik, waarom ik dit aan het doen ben. Weet je wat je het moet doen? Uh... Wie? Daryl, Daryl Shanley. Oké, okay. helemaal goed. Daryl Shanley, Newcastle. Hey, hartstikke bedankt, Rudy. Hoi. Trying to get to Newcastle. Oh, wrong way there. Do you know, I'm 87 and I don't feel 60. In fact, I don't feel 50. Do what you feel like, providing it's good for the body. Life is for living, not for moping or dreaming. Live it. This is the place, yeah. This is the place? This is it. You, you're telling me that uh, reproducing, so having sex, uh, it takes energy. It is not giving energy. It, yeah. I, I need to repair myself after I had sex. <laughs> nice. Well, in a way, but really, I mean, what I'm talking about here is the long term sort of thinking about an organism as taking in food and diverting it for an adult organism between reproduction and maintenance. You've got to remember that organisms aren't just designed to survive and live long. We're, we're, we're designed to reproduce as well. And if you think in evolutionary terms, really what we're trying to do is make the most babies we can in our lifespan. And, and this is a really good guide for, for understanding uh, differences in lifespan and differences in levels of maintenance between organisms. There's, there's an amazing sort of story that's, that's out there that's being investigated at the moment. And then this is looking at huge longevity differences uh, between basically genetically identical individual, individuals. And you see this in the, uh, in the social insects, in ants, honeybees, etc. Perhaps that will give you more information on... on where, where, where do I get this Well, the real expert in this whole area is, is, is Lauren Keller in, in Lausanne, so I certainly recommend you go and speak to him. Lifespan is a compromise because all organisms have a limited amount of energy. So to live longer, you have to put more energy to keep your body in good shape. Because when cells divide are errors, you can correct those errors, but it takes energy. So what we think is that organisms which, have, which are likely to be killed by predators or parasites, there's no point to put a lot of energy to live long. So you better put all your energy into uh, reproduction, reproduce quickly so you leave more offspring. In ants you, you have uh, two different phenotypes, the queens and workers, but they can have very uh, large difference in lifespan. And for example you have some species in which the workers um, will live only one or two years, 
But the queen, which is in the nest, can live up to 30 years. This is because the social life has decreased the risk to be killed by a predator or parasite. She's like in a fortress. Okay. The social environment where you have been born is very important. The parental care, how you were raised, and so this is very important. Okay. And can you explain that to me? Well, I could explain you, but there's someone in Leiden which would be much better to explain you uh, that because he does experiment on, on this very important topic. Ik geloof dat ik het begin te begrijpen. Ik moet dus door heel Europa om thuis het antwoord te vinden. Meneer de Vloed? Uh, ja. Wat wij denken is dat er een match moet zijn tussen hoe je in het begin van het leven geprogrammeerd wordt mm -hmm. met wat je later in het leven tegenkomt. En ja, wat je ziet is dat uh, dan uh, de individuen gaan op zoek naar uh, uitdaging, bungee jumpen. That's it. Ik moet de uitdaging aangaan. Ik moet gewoon dingen doen. Goedemiddag. Goedemiddag. Kan ik u helpen? Ja, ik wil heel graag een reis. En wilt u een strandvakantie of iets avontuurlijks? Iets avontuurlijks natuurlijk. 